Well, good day, folks. Welcome to MB Wildman channel. On today's video, we're going to talk about how to make a small game snare or a survival snare uh, with real simple stuff that you would normally have, you know, kicking around the first shed if you wanted to go ahead and if you were building your own snares. Now, this is not brass wire snares. These are not the ones that, you know, you can buy the wire at Canadian Tire. This is stuff that you should have on hand if you're, uh, you know, if you're trapping small game. If you're making, you know, mink snares or rabbit snares or uh, squirrel snares, things like that, more or less survival snares. Um, make sure, please, in your area, that you know, the snaring of mink or snaring of small game is legal. It's up to you to figure out what the laws and the rules are in your area. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this real simple snare just here in a second. And uh, listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wild Man channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell so that you get notified when we upload new content. Wouldn't want you to miss any videos. Uh, as always, we're looking for questions, you know, feedback, comments that you have. We'd love to hear from you here on the channel. So go ahead and leave that, uh, leave that stuff in the comments down below. So today's video is real simple, real quick. Uh, I, won't, I won't keep you a long time. Uh, I just want to show you what I do to make a small game snare. And I keep a pile of these ready to go depending on what I'm doing. You know, if I've got some nuisance wildlife jobs or if I've got some areas where you know, I'm out camping or I'm out whatever and I want to take a rabbit or I want to take, you know, some of that stuff. Also real great if you, you know, to carry on in your survival pack or your bug out bag, uh, depending on, you know, uh, on what you're doing. So these are great. I keep some at the camp and some at the, some at the tent site and all those places. So uh, what I generally do is uh, I use 1 16th wire. This is, uh, this is aircraft cable 7x7. Seven seven. Uh, 1 16th is the diameter and I start it with 20 inches. Okay, so I've got 20 inches of, uh, of 1 16th cable. And then I just have a little small aluminum stop. The same thing I would use for making a regular snare. And I'm just going to hammer that onto the end. With the small cable, you want to be careful you don't squish that too flat. You just want it to pinch until it's shut, but you don't want to hammer it down super flat. Okay, that'll, uh, that'll fray the cable and you can break it. It is also important to make sure that the bend of the cable, the natural bend of the cable, uh, is in line with the flat part of your stop. Okay, that's real important for this next part here. So after we do that, we're going to grab the stop with a pair of pliers just behind it. So you want right up against it, but behind it. And then turn it away from the crescent moon shape. So you got the moon shape of the wire like this, and you're going to bend the lock away from it as such, and then pinch it. Yeah, I can do it. Okay, so bend it away and then pinch it shut like that. Okay, what that's going to give you is almost a 90 degree elbow, right, of the wire. Okay, you can see that. You're going to come up and then turn and come back this way onto the stop. Okay. Next up, I like to use these low pro locks. These are great locks. Uh, they're inexpensive and they're black. They're real sleek. They're slim line. Okay, so if you want to look these up, just Google Low Pro Lock. There's all kinds of places that sell them. Uh, and while I'm on that note, just a real quick shout out to Long Creek Trapping Supplies. That's where I get all my stuff. They got the best wire. They got the best locks around. They got the best prices around. If you're looking for snare stuff in New Brunswick, Long Creek's the way to go. So I'm going to add my lock to the wire, slide it down to the end, and then loop it up. Flip the lock over so that the, the hole is at the top. Run my wire through and then spin it so that I have this, okay? So what I end up with is real small loop and a real quick, fast acting lock, okay? These low pro locks are great. They are, they are a, a relaxing lock. They do not hold exactly as they're tense. They do, they do relax a little tiny bit, uh, but that won't, uh, you won't lose critters that way. Okay, so once you have this, then you simply slide down and grab a double furrow, aluminum, a double aluminum stop, okay? Slide it onto the end, loop it around, slide it back in to the end, and then pull it tight, you know, as tight as you want. I like to leave, you know, I like to leave a fair loop, but pull it, you know, however much you want to leave. Hammer that closed the same way, not, not too, too much. Don't reef on it so the aluminum is super flat. You just want to close up the holes onto the wire, and then boom. There you have what I would consider a small game survival snare. I've got a loop that's about five inches in you know, diameter um, and I can pull it down and if I wanna set it, depending if I'm, like if I'm going for a squirrel, 
right? I'm gonna pull this loop down till it's about two inches, something like that. I'm gonna set that in the, in the location. Uh, if I'm going for a rabbit, I'm gonna leave it open, right? A little bit higher up. But uh, anyway, that's it. Real quick, real simple, small game survival snare. Um, 1 16th cable, a low pro lock, uh, a couple stops, and, and you're done with this thing. You can build these, you know, as far as snares go, real inexpensive. Between the lock and the furrows and the wire, I've, I've got, I don't know, 35 cents maybe, uh, maybe 40 maximum uh, into one of these snares. And again, like I say, I keep a dozen in the pack all the time. It just depends on what I'm trying to, trying to accomplish. They're small, you can fold them up, it's not a big deal. Uh, they don't kink real easy. And then you can just wire this off to whatever you're going to wire it off to, whether it be a drowning rig or whether it be something solid or a tangle pole or whatever you're going to use. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. So anyway, hope this helps you out on your line. And until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.